Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today we're going to walk through the process of changing the oil in our 2016 Yamaha YXZ1000R. Pretty simple to do. We just have a couple of panels to get out of the way. Then it's as simple as just draining it, filling it back up, and getting that oil filter in place. Now we're only going to need one part number to pull that off and a couple of special tools. So let's step over to the table, take a look at those, and then we can get started. That one part number gets you all the oil that you're going to need for this project, along with the correct filter. Heck, they even throw in a funnel and then a change sticker to put on there. And they also include the different crush washers that you're going to need to make sure everything gets sealed up correctly. Now, as far as the special tools, really short list. Need to pick up an oil filter wrench and then, as always, a good torque wrench. So now that we've got our tools and our one part number together, let's get over there and get it done. Step number one, we're going to crank it up, let it run for just a couple of minutes, get everything heated up in there. That way it'll be easier for it all to drain out. All right, well, she's run a couple of minutes. Let's start pulling a couple of panels. What we're going to do is pull this upper cover. That will expose the oil tank. We want to go ahead and take out the dipstick itself. That way it'll be easier for it to drain. At that point, we'll go under, remove that rear skid plate, and then we'll have access to both the engine drain bolt as well as the oil tank drain bolt. We'll get everything drained out, we'll get the filter changed out, and then it's just a matter of refilling it. But there is a specific way that you need to do that, so stay tuned to find out how that happens. Here's the oil tank and there's the dipstick for it. Just make sure there's no dirt or debris around it because we don't want that to drop into it. Not horrible, I've seen worse. We're just going to leave it just perched up there, but not screwed back in. And this is where actually you fill and also check your oil level. Now, how often does Yamaha want you to change the oil and filter? Well, they recommend every 160 hours or 1600 miles. And I think that'll be fine for an average use machine, but I push mine a little bit harder. So what do I personally do? I basically cut that in half. So every 80 hours, or 800 miles is when I you know, like to change mine. But that's my personal preference. You can follow Yamaha if you want to. I have my own way when it comes to oil changes. So next, before we get to the skid plate, Yamaha actually wants you to remove this little cap bolt. And it's actually on top of the valve cover. And it's of course all the way in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Make sure there's no debris or anything that's gonna fall in once we get it out of there. Now, we can go after the skid plate, but Funny part is here, I'm pretty sure this was not an issue from um, the Yamaha department. <laughs> it looks like a coaxial wire that somebody's got wrapped around holding it up. So we've already cut that. Let's get it out of the way and looks like we have a couple of zip ties to uh, deal with. I'm thinking somebody may have lost some of their mounting bolts when they were putting it on last time. So let me get the crawler, go into there, see what, if any, bolts are still left, and we'll get it dropped and out of the way. I got to show you all this. I didn't catch it at first. This, <laughs> this wire that was holding the, uh, the center skid plate up in place, that's from an iPhone 4 or 5. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> this isn't rocket science, but basically you're going to have several 10 millimeters around the perimeter of the center section and then this entire skid plate will drop out. So let's get those pulled and then I'll show you where those drain bolts are. Now was it really necessary to drop the entire center skid plate out to do this? No, probably not. You could drop the rear section a couple of bolts then bend it down far enough to get to your drain bolt as well as your your oil filter. But I have so many other things that are going to be done to this unit. We decided to go ahead and just drop it, get it out of the way instead of trying to work around it. Well, now that we've uncovered it, let's go ahead and pull it, let it drain, and we'll go ahead and pop off that oil filter at the same time. While that's draining, we'll go ahead and get this cover off the bottom of the oil tank. And you notice that not a lot of oil came out of the actual crankcase. Well, that's one of the uh, telltale signs of what they call a dry sump system majority of oil is in here and then it draws it in as you run the engine and actually fills up the crankcase with how much it needs which since you don't have an oil pan down there is not much your oil pan in essence 
is up here now. Kind of a cool system. So let's get this cover off, get it drained, and then we'll start refilling it. Now this is only held in place by three 10 millimeter head bolts. So with that out of the way, let's get this drain bolt out. And it's a 12 millimeter. Ready, aim, fire. So we should get quite a bit more oil out of this. Let it drain, then we'll get some new crush washers that came with the kit. Now you'll notice you've got three of these crush washers and yet we only have two bolts. What's the third one for? Well, this particular old change kit or box is also used for the Star Motorcycle line. So don't let it bother you. We don't use that one particular crush washer. We're still good to go. Let's get our oil tank bolt back in and we're gonna torque it to 12 foot pounds. Let's go ahead and put our cylinder head cap back on because that would make one heck of a mess if I forgot to do that. We now let's go under, get our engine drain bolt, and then we're gonna torque it to 7.2. And then the oil filter as well. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of the oil, and then we're gonna put that around the O-ring on the filter. And then we'll put on our oil filter and take it to 12 as well. There we go. Now we'll set up top and fill her up. So we're getting ready to refill it guys and there's one thing I need to point out with this particular oil change kit they actually use it on so many different machines there's various amounts of oil that's required for each one so they had to prepare it for worst case scenario which would be five quarts. This one is only going to use 2.85 of that and the way we're going to do it is put in two quarts first run it maybe three to five times shut it off and then we're only going to put in 0.8 of another quart and that's going to finish it. So that means out of this kit, you're gonna have a little bit over two quarts left over. Well, guess what? You'll just use that the next time you do an oil change. You'll order one quart and the filter and you'll be good to go. Yeah, 0.75 is three quarters of it. So just a little bit past that. That's probably really close. So next, we need to go ahead and check the oil level. I mean, it should be accurate, but you wanna make sure that you haven't overfilled it. So the way you do that is start with a basically cold engine. We're gonna roll it outside, start it up, let it come up to operating temp, let it sit for two or three minutes, and then check the level and adjust as necessary. Well, as you can tell, I still have some other covers to put back on down here and, and then the skid plate. But keep in mind, I still have a lot of work to do on this one. So I'm not going to put those back on yet. And if you'd be interested in watching that, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when we do finish those videos and upload them. Well, listen, if you need any parts for your machine, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.